I'm Drusilla Pratt-Otto, and I'm very, very honored to be standing in front of you this evening. Um, I just have one extemporaneous thing to add. With regard to Hancock, can you say oatmeal for 125 people? <laughs> um, so, tendu, plié, arabesque. And for those of you who need the visual aid, Um, and I have a lot of fun these days, but sometimes I need my glasses to have more fun. So, um, I first heard these words in 1973 in the tiny dance studio at Commonwealth. I was 14. Yikes. <laughs> what possible relevance could they have to me today or to the world? For me, these words remain an invitation to another way of being, breathing, thinking, a parallel universe. 36 years later, I still practice these moment, movements with another gifted, generous teacher in Cambridge every week. No longer 14, I too will turn 50 next month. <laughs> um, I am a CPA, um, a financial consultant, a mother of 17-year-old boys, and a wife. Ballet class allows me to connect to an incredible inner core established a very long time ago, a place of strength, joy, and love. How does an adult engage emerging adolescence to participate more fully, more physically, to turn a switch on at 14 or 15. Jackie Curry had a gift with kids, as I know she still does. What made all of us want to be in that teeny studio with her? Becky Goff, Hope Gillerman, Thalia Gamble, Marika Alkama, John Giacomo, Diane Chomsky, those are the names that come to mind and the people I remember in that studio. Here was a safe place to belong, a place to stretch physically, emotionally, and creatively, a place to have joy and share whatever mayhem was going on in your life. Jackie supported you and challenged you all at the same time. She was feisty but subtle, and if you think she didn't see when people were not quite themselves, she did. The comfort was in her being there every day to see what you had. For Jackie and the people in that studio, it was not just about dancing. It was about finding a vibrant space, a skill to explore that continued to reflect back and feed the other aspects of our life. It was about finding our own foundation and strength from which to leap. We danced and we were more fully present in English class with John Hughes and Lear. We spoke more clearly in French class with Jacqueline Ryan and Madame Rodebouche. We learned a specific language of movement. It was also a lesson in learning other languages and disciplines unknown to us then. Business, math, public speaking. Charles Merrill talked about dancing with your body or your pen. When he asked me to be one of the two valedictorians for my class, I asked, why would anybody want to hear what I had to say? His answer was to talk about why I danced. I say now, as I said then, that the arts, all of them, whether they are the focus of your professional life or not, enrich our understanding, our perspective, our ability to look at the world and to relate to others in it, a skill that we sorely need today. Jackie Curry's lifelong dedication to this craft is an enormous gift to our society. Her dedication to this discipline reminds us 
to appreciate nonconformist creativity. Jackie reminds us that to compete 100% of the time is not healthy. One can step off of that track to breathe, to move, and to fly. It is hope in the face of many unpleasant things in our world today, and we are stronger for it. Jackie has given this incredible gift to many students as they, as they have grown at Commonwealth. It is a remarkable contribution to the Commonwealth community and to the world at large. And the rarest of rare, I actually get to say thank you to someone who did so much for me and whose gift I still enjoy.